Hello everyone, this is Jason from Primetime Aquatics and today we are going to be getting some peacock gudgeon eggs out of the cave so we can start tumbling those eggs to get some more fry. So stay tuned and we're going to show you how that happens. Okay, so our peacock gudgeon eggs are in this cave. You won't be able to see them in here because I don't have a light, but there is a male that's holding the eggs. And what we're going to do is get those out. And so let me show you how that's going to happen. So because the eggs are in here and this cave has a closed end and that also gets very narrow at the back end, uh, we are going to have to get the eggs out using a dropper like this. So I'm going to use this pipette to basically suck the eggs out and I'll show you how this happens while this cave here is submerged underwater. So as I suck the eggs out with this, I am going to set this egg tumbler up on the side of the tank, on the inside of the tank obviously, and submerge that as well, and then I will just squirt the eggs into this egg tumbler, and then I'll get a hose going, a line going, so that we'll have some uh, air running into this tumbling the eggs. Now one thing, these eggs are super, super, super tiny, and so what we're going to have to do is the little piece, if you can see down in here, there is a little piece of uh, plastic that kind of protects the eggs from flying out the top and the bottom. What we've had to do is take this mesh from a brine shrimp net and put that over it. Because the eggs are so small, they will fall through the bottom and the top. So it looks like this, and we just kind of stretch it over. Otherwise, the eggs will fall through the bottom and the top of the egg tumbler. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to show you how we get the eggs out. And it's been giving us really good results. We get a lot of fry doing this. I know it doesn't necessarily seem, after, you know, when you watch it, it doesn't necessarily seem like it's going to work, but it's been working pretty good for us. All right, so here you can see how I've got the egg tumbler. If we lift the camera up a little bit, you will see right in here, I've got the very top. I got the very top out of the water so that when I put the eggs and they don't just come flying out of the top. So I put it close to the front of the tank because obviously we want to be able to see the eggs. We want to be able to see the fry as they hatch. Uh, we had a line that was hooked up, uh, this extra line here. If you look up over at the top here, Luke's doing all the camera work right now. This was just here because we do get some, you know, quite a bit of fry from these peacock gudgeons normally. So we've just got that sitting there. So the next step is we need to get the eggs out of that cave. So the first thing we got to do is we need to get the male out of here. And the males for the peacock gudgeons, they're the ones that guard the eggs. And if you want to see more on the breeding and care of peacock gudgeons, we have a video out. I'll put a card up in the description. But for right now, we just need to get these eggs out of here. They're going to be attached to the surface. Now, he's not going to... There he goes. All right, so we got a lot of sand that came out. He's not going to want to come out of there very easily. But there he is. He's probably pretty upset. So now we got to get the eggs out. In order to do this, we're going to need a flashlight. All right, so I don't know if you're really going to be able to see this too well, but in there we have our eggs. Luke, go ahead and try to focus in a little bit, try to zoom in. Uh, they're at the bottom. They're all stuck to the very, very back. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to actually get a third person. Eli is going to come over here and hold this flashlight so I can get the eggs out. So Eli, go ahead and hold that. So, got it. All right, now I'm going to come in here. Now these eggs are all, I'm going to go ahead, lift that up. I'm going to kind of stir it around, get these eggs to detach. Now I suck some stuff up. We'll see if we get any eggs. So let's come on over here to the egg tumbler. And we got eggs. So those little things that are floating around in there, those are the eggs. And you can see more coming in there. Can I go ahead and give me a light in this thing, please? And you can see the white circles are the eggs that are falling down. And by doing this, we usually get about 40 to 50 fry at least. Could we get more if we were maybe a little bit more gentle? Maybe. All right, so this is going to be hard to see, but again... The eggs are still right, some of them are still right there on the bottom. Hey. 
Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to put this piece on top of the egg tumbler. So that's gonna rest there. Now normally for a lot of eggs, that would be plenty to hold them in, but it's not gonna be. So here we're gonna need uh, this piece of brine shrimp net, and that's going to go over this, just like that. And then we'll be able to set this right in here. But before we do that, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and put our airline on the top of this thing like that. And then this will go here, our little uplift tube. We'll have our mesh that goes right over the top. Just like that. And I can put this in. All right, so now that everything's together, now we'll push this down so that the entire thing is under. And we've got the line going here. Get some air flowing. So here we've got our eggs tumbling. And we want a little bit of tumble here. If we've got white ones in there, those are gonna be fungus. We'll remove those. But you can see that's, so that's basically how we got the peacock gudgeon eggs out to get these fry. They're gonna sit in here for the next few days. Hopefully we start to see some fry uh, as a result. All right, everyone, so that's how we get the eggs out of the cave and into the egg tumbler. If we don't do that, when those eggs hatch and the fry are developed, they're going to get eaten by the parents. They're going to get eaten by all the other peacock gudgeons in that tank. So we'll put them in that egg tumbler. Hopefully, over the next week or so, we'll begin to see fry appear. And if we do, we'll show you what that looks like, too. So thanks for watching. If you found this useful, subscribe, share it, and we'll see you in the next one.